Well, here's the question and a call out to the real Gatsby. Can the real great Gatsby please stand up? Please stand Cape Town, we need your help this morning. Which spot makes the best Gatsby? I know it's going to be a difficult one to try and come up with the one that does, but we know that everyone has their favorite Gatsby spot. Uh, but let's settle it once and for all. The Sasko Mzansi bread search is now on. It's a big competition and they want you at home to tell us where you get the best Gatsby for a chance to win limited edition Mzansi bread streetwear worth up to a hundred thousand rand. It is a huge competition, it's a huge prize, and all you have to do is the SMS Mzansi bread to 40183. That's Mzansi bread to 40183 to vote for your favorite spot and win. Oh, Jamie Lee. Friend. This is, I mean, obviously your home stuff. Listen, when you look up Gatsby in the dictionary, I'm there with a picture next to it because I, I am the queen it. of Gatsby. I can't believe it. But did you know what? I didn't actually notice a Cape Town thing. I always thought like Gatsby was a universal thing until I went to Joburg and people were like, what? No, absolutely not. I remember when I first moved to Cape Town mm -hmm. last year and I started working on the show, I think within two weeks they sent me out. In fact, Sasko sent me out uh, to two spots here in Cape Town, Golden Dish and Cozy Corner. Hmm. And uh, let's just say I haven't had a nap like that ever since. I mean, I, I had Mursa uh, yeah, uh, Gatsby <laughs> and like passed out for a long time. Absolutely. There's actually a slogan to it. It's Machis for Wachis too. So the moment you eat a Gatsby, you know you're going to be sleeping for days after that. But listen, okay. friend. I got, I got <laughs> trashed on social media because the last time we spoke about Gatsby on yeah. the show, I said that you must add an Evo. But I didn't mean that like Evo is a staple to the Gatsby. Okay. I mean like it's an ad, like a genre. And people were like, listen, your taste buds are bougie. You need to know where you come from. Oh. Like people were coming for me. But listen. But you're me... redeeming yourself this morning. I am morning. redeeming myself. Okay. But I need, there's one tip that I need to tell you. Okay. Like the dodgier the area, that's where you're going to find the best Gatsby. But like... it's what I always say. So, I mean, I found that there was one Gatsby spot in town that I mm -hmm. went to. And I found it was quite bougie. Too bougie. And the yeah. experience of having mm -mm. that Gatsby. Gatsby wasn't the same. I couldn't even finish it. But I remember when I went into the hood, hood, when I went deep into Athlone, getting that atmosphere around and the people is what makes a yeah. Gatsby's experience so full and so wholesome. You must almost struggle. Like, you must struggle. You must struggle. And you must have people asking to eat it with you as well. If no one's asking to share it with you, then you really are eating Absolutely. it at the wrong so place. I'm going to teach you, my friend, okay. because I need to teach you. Because you must have Helmut's Kral, right? Yeah. Helmut's Kral. Nee, die mense witi, die mense witi eindlikie. So I'm going to teach you I don't okay. even know why I have the supplies. I just feel like I'm going to use it because... Okay. But I'm going to use my hands with it because it's right. Gatsby's literally that you eat with your hands. So what are your ingredients? So firstly, we're going to start off with like some shredded lettuce. Okay. And just put it on the bread, Nyana. And I like this of Saskia because they give it like the groot brookies, man. You don't yeah. want to fight so much with it. <laughs> yeah. So just put it on that like okay. so. So you're basically just throwing on the lettuce on there. Yeah, and it, I'm guessing that if you wanted to really go a little bit extra, you could uh, start layering with a bit of butter on there. No, friend, because oh, okay. you don't put butter on because I'm going to show you later because the sauce will actually carry all that nutrients. But okay. this is, and you know what? You can actually tell your family and everyone at home that like it's also healthy because you're putting like lettuce and tomato. Uh. <laughs> so then you feel like less guilty, mm -hmm. but you put the tomatoes on nyana mm -hmm. right over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, it's <laughs> the, the meat. The meat. The meat. meat is meat and yep. a girl got to eat. A girl so got to eat, So you put it yeah. on like so. I'm just going to use my hands because like I said, you literally have to get into this. Mm. And it's a masala steak Gatsby. Mm. Friend, mm. this is... <laughs> Next <laughs> level, you are literally barter. just like, like exploding from this. And I'm here's so the thing about Sasko, and that, that you mentioned that, of course, they've got the size, which mm -hmm. is perfect and ideal for a Gatsby. But when I went around Cape Town yes. trying to find the best Gatsby spot, I found that there were so many spots that actually get this from uh, this situation, this Brody, they get it from Sasko. Yeah. And that's because Sasko truly does believe in supporting small businesses mm. in these communities and really just empowering them. In fact, what we're going to be doing here is that uh, we, we wanna make sure that we get uh, uh, the best vendor because you're gonna let mm. us know where the best spot to get a Gatsby is. And the winning vendor is actually gonna go on to win. Oh. It says 50,000 Rand in marketing support uh. because Sasko believes that it's very important to support these local businesses. And of course, they are the brand that cares about the community 
community and that makes sure that they tap into the interests of the community. So you let us know what your favorite spot is, but of course, in turn, Sasko also gives 50,000 rand worth of marketing support to that spot. Okay, cool. Back to the food. That makes my heart so happy because this really is like a family kind of yeah. meal. It just brings a community together. So yeah. I'm actually getting goosebumps right now. That's nice. So once... <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Right. That's what That's you fine. want before That's you nice. indulge, uh, indulge in a Gatsby. Okay, so this is the base of it. Mm -hmm. You know, your lettuce, your tomatoes, and then your masala. You can put a lot of meat on. Okay. Like, if you want to hoi Alice on, you can. Pretty generous, yeah. But literally, this is the key to it as well. Slap chips must be slap. The slapper, the better. Mm. Okay, so you're you, slapping them on. There. You're slapping the chips on. <laughs> they must sleep on that bed. <laughs> hey, friend. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you're gonna throw this on like so. Mm. I feel like. Anyway, I don't know why I'm making it look so pretty, but it's mm. it's a Mosa Chadite. Like, yeah. in the hood, you say it's a Mosa Chadite. This is a Mosa Chadite. Yeah. Listen. And I believe that this uh, delicious sandwich, this Gatsby, was uh, originated in the Cape Flats around four decades ago. Mm. And the whole idea around it was that it was a cheap um, and filling meal for families and factory workers at the time. And mm -hmm. to see that it's come through such a long time and so many years, it's quite incredible. And the name of the meal is apparently believed to be inspired by uh, a certain F. Scott Fitz. Gerald, mm, uh, his fa famous novel. You know yes, about it, yeah. yeah. The Great Gatsby, the Great of, Gatsby course. of course, because it's it's associated uh, with its excess. Because the Gatsby is all about the excess, right? As mm. you can see. Yeah. Mm. Listen, you're gonna layer your cheese over there, okay. and then this is the important part. Okay, so this right. is the sweet chili sauce. You can even put the young mayonnaise yeah. in there, yeah. just to like put it in there. Because that's for the sauce. This is the... Oh, God, oh. Mont Vata. Okay, <laughs> but the finale is... Yeah. Dum -dum 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 -dum, the egg. The egg, yeah. literally it must be a sunny yeah. side up egg, because when you bite it, it must go so... <laughs> <laughs> like, like explosion in your mouth. You want it exploding. Yeah. But listen, I mean, it is quite a detailed and layered uh, dish to make the great Gatsby. The Gatsby. Uh, in case you missed any of these steps while we finish off, take a look at this. Sasco, baking together since 1930. Can the real great Gatsby please stand up? This delicious sandwich originated in the Cape Flats around four decades ago and was a cheap and filling meal for families and factory workers. The sandwich on steroids has evolved into a favorite, so why not try your hand at this mouth-watering Sasko Gatsby? To get started with your Gatsby, season two cups of slap chips well with salt and pepper. Then evenly layer one cup of shredded lettuce and two sliced tomatoes on the bottom half of your Gatsby loaf followed by 500 grams of masala steak strips. Top the masala steak strips with your seasoned slap chips. Half a cup of sweet chili sauce and top with the four fried eggs. To serve your Gatsby, either cut it up into two halves, thirds or quarters. What we do know is that the Gatsby is a cultural symbol of Cape Town and is best enjoyed with friends and family. But don't forget the unwritten rule, do not take a nap after eating. I repeat, do not take a nap after eating. Well, good luck trying not to take a nap after eating a Gatsby. Send me that experience when you're done with it. But of course, it is a true symbol of Cape Town heritage, a uh, symbol of note. And the Sasko Mzansi Bread Search, it is on. It is an exciting competition. They really do want you to tell us where you get the best Gatsby for a chance to win. Limited edition Mzansi Bread Streetwear. It's worth up to 100,000 Rand. What you need to do is SMS Mzansi Bread to 40183. That's Mzansi Bread to 40183 to vote for your favorite, uh, favorite spot and then win. And of course, in turn, what will happen is that when you do come out with those spots, the winning spot will win 50,000 Rand worth of marketing support from Sasko. It's done and but, it's ready. Yes, now mm. there's rules to eating a Gatsby. Okay. Step number one, you need to be hungry, like okay. angry, like you must, your tummy must be like screaming there, like yeah. I haven't eaten in days, uh -huh. okay? Step number two is have a serviette ready because it's going, it's going to get messy. Like You want to get messy yes. with it. But let's see what some of the people have okay. said their favorite spot yep. is on yep. social media where they get their Absolutely. Gatsby's. Absolutely, we'll start off with Natasha Sampson and mm. she said that morning, 
oh yeah, morning. Um, the Pacific Roadhouse on Jake's Herval, Cape Town. I've oh, never heard Jake's of it. Jake's Herval. Calvary, you know about that place. Hmm. Okay, awesome. And then Jackie Newman said, good morning. My favorite place is Cozy Corner. Yes, love Cozy Corner. They are amazing. Love mm. it, love it good. Mm. Um, Gail Baron said, good morning, Expresso fam. Best place to grab a Gatsby is in my kitchen. I'm known to make a mean <laughs> Gatsby. Thinks... You need to come on the show, Mama, I and then it. make one for us. Because, I love it, Gail. Yeah, I love it. And then, of course, lastly, Marcelino said, Golden Dish is legendary for the Gatsby's, which is true. It's on I've the travel there. mark and everything. Like, Golden Dish is always the place. It's Golden Dish, yeah. and Nisa's, and Cozy Corner. That's like your three the places. thing is, there is so many of them, and Cape Town mm -hmm. is so big, so many hoods and so many corners to find these things. That's why we want to hear from you, and Sasko wants to hear uh, from you. Okay, what do we do quickly to just get into this? Okay, so listen. Um, we it's don't not have, about knives. It's not knife, about knives. But you're always going to maul. Okay. Maul is like you're going to get into yeah, it okay. for the middle part, because okay, that's, cool. the, that's the best part. So, no, right. no, I, I get the middle part. You get the side, because you didn't help me with this Gatsby. Oh, is that so, one of the rules for yeah, it? Okay, so listen, while we <laughs> fight over who gets which half the of the Gatsby, get your ingredients together. Stopped jotting down some notes of how you're going to tackle this beast of a sandwich. We'll see you after this. It's going to be Mosa. <laughs> Sasco, baking together since 1930.